Hello everyone, Fru here. Welcome to today's presentation. So in today's presentation, we are going to look at getting started with a Talent Cloud Trier account. So if you've heard about Talent Cloud and you're curious about getting your hands on a product to maybe try it, maybe build some few data integration uh, projects or any data project you have going on uh, as an individual or at your company, uh, the quickest way to do that is to uh, get hold of the Talent Cloud Trier account. That way you can uh, begin building some workflows. So this presentation would walk us through step by step how to get uh, started with the Talent Cloud uh, Trier account. Now that said, we're going to switch over to the web browser. The quickest way to get started with the Talent Cloud Trier account is uh, we can just go to Google and type uh, Talent Cloud Trier. I'm also going to leave a link in, uh, in the description as well if you want to click on that direct uh, link. Now, once we have the link, we want to find you know the talent login. Actually, it shows it in here, which is a trial registration. So that's the page where we're trying to go. So I'm going to click on that, uh, the login for that. So this brings us into the trial uh, registration page. And anyone can do this from anywhere in the world. Uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can click on this link, trial registration, and this will give you a quick and easy way to get a hold of the talent product. So. Uh, in here, there are several regions that are supported with uh, Talent Cloud. Uh, you can click on this. You can see uh, it's supported on uh, AWS and it's supported on Microsoft. So depending on what infrastructure or what public cloud vendor you're more uh, affiliated with, you can pick the specific uh, region. All right. And that also includes uh, locations across the world. So Asia, Europe uh, and the United States as such. So in this case, I'm just going to pick the United States, uh, AWS, the East Coast. Now, once we do that, it's going to require uh, an email. So you want to take a, uh, use the, whatever email you need to sign, uh, you need to use to sign up for that process. So that email, you put that email in here. In my case, I have a, an email. I'm going to use uh, this email. All right. So that's the email I'm going to sign up for. So don't bother about this email. It's just a temporary email uh, for the demonstration purposes here. All right. Now, of course, you want to verify recapture. I'm not a robot. And then this would allow us to, of course, read through the software trial agreement. And then this allows us to uh, start our trial. So once we go ahead, click on start our trial. Uh, you should send an email uh, to uh, that email address that we use. So it says here, thank you for signing up for Talent Cloud Free. It's a free trial account. There's no credit card, no payment required. So there's really no barrier to getting started with this. All right. So check your email. And if you have any questions, you can email the customer care. So in that case, I'm going to check my email uh, for what came through. Now, I wouldn't show that email on the screen here. But if you were following through that email, uh, you would receive uh, a link. All right, there should be a link in there that says complete registration. All right, uh, there should be, let me actually bring a screenshot of that on the screen here just for the sake of it. Just bear with me to get that screenshot and I'll bring to the screen here. All right, so that email should look something like, like this. All right, so basically it's a welcome email. Thank you for signing up. So this is just a screen capture. So this is the complete registration that you want to uh, use. There's also um, a domain name. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more details. So this email just came about a second ago, right after my registration. All right. So let's close that. Okay. I've copied that link. You can just as well click on that link and I'll paste that link uh, into the browser. Just bear with me for a second here to grab the link. And then we'll go ahead, paste that link into the browser. So it does have my trial uh, key in here. All right, so now this is going to ask for uh, information, certain information that you need to provide. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, since we're just doing a, a presentation here, I will just use a YouTube uh, tutorial. All right, and then we'll just call it Talent uh, Test, Talent Tutorial. Let's just give it a name, phone number. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ideally, you want to use your correct phone number in here. All right. And then, of course, your country. And this is helpful. Uh, so in the case, I'm making this from the United States. Industry, 
depending on what the industry you're working on, uh, you want to pick the right industry. Now, I'm going to put in the username and a password. So you want to definitely uh, use a username and a, use a username and password that you can remember. Okay. So select that. Hopefully this should take me in. No, I don't want to save that. All right. So now this brings me into uh, my talent cloud environment. So in a very, uh, very short, easy steps, we've been able to uh, log in, create an account, and now we can get into the talent cloud uh, environment. So once we come in, there are a couple of things that uh, uh, we can notice in here is to start building our data integration flows. And then here is if we're working with data. Now, the difference is data integration. This is where you're trying to use studio to connect to sources and actually build data integration flows. Here is more of like your data prep. Uh, if you're trying to be uh, to work with data prep, uh, more like a self-service kind of scenario, uh, this is what we're going to click. All right. And then in here below, you can discover all the applications. So let's actually click on this talent does support a bunch of applications. Uh, you can click on that and you can see all the applications that are supported uh, from within talent cloud. All right. So what we need in this case, the trial account is a 14 day trial. So this is really an opportunity to get your hands on the tool. And for 14 days, you can get the full power of enterprise talent to really do some proof of some concepts and, and, and actually, you know, work with the tool. And of course, if you have questions, you can certainly reach out to the talent uh, team to get your questions answered. Now, the next thing that we want to see here, uh, in addition to all these tools, is we're going to select apps. You can see all the apps that are available for us to use. So there's a data preparation. If you click on that, it's going to take you into the data preparation and you can do more data preparation uh, types of scenarios. There are many, many videos around data preparation. If you have any questions on that, just let, in, uh, let me know in the description below and we can make some videos or some tutorial videos around data preparation. Uh, in addition to that, there is the data stewardship, which is almost like a companion to a data preparation, but more for stewards to go create campaigns and remediate those campaigns. So you can come in here and get a hold of that. And then below that is a pipeline designer, which is a completely, completely um, web-based uh, data integration, next generation uh, data integration pipeline uh, for talent. So in this case, you can do 100% data integration without installing any tool on your machine. All right. So this is really the next generation integration platform uh, for talent. All right. So you can uh, take advantage of that. I'm going to dive into pipeline designer at a later time, but that's available in there if you want to explore. Now, the last but not the least is the management console. So this is really what is at the heart of the talent cloud environment, the management console. So this is where uh, you can come in, uh, you can uh, do operations, management, projects, uh, engines, environments, and all of that. I'm going to do a separate video uh, to deep dive on how to set up uh, the management console uh, for, for yourself. So if you're trying to set this up and provision users and all of that, I'll do a walkthrough of that at a later time. Now, now that we have a trial account, of course, if we're trying to build workflows, uh, you can come in here, uh, click on download, and this will allow you to download Studio. So if you've noticed in some of the presentations that we do, I'm working within Studio. I'm working within the Talent Studio environment. All right. And this is where I'm building my jobs and my workflows. So if you want to have uh, something like this, so you can actually build your own workflows and connect to all the sources that you might have to connect to within your organization. This is where uh, and you need this product uh, to download so you can use because it's a client that lives on your machine. Uh, this is where you come in to download it. So just there are many things that you can download here. So just find the talent studio and then go ahead and then download that from from this page just as a caveat if you don't see studio here immediately you might have to wait maybe a couple of hours or, or, or close to that just so that it uh, it populates the links uh, here uh, for studio to be downloaded i think some people might not see studio immediately if that's the case just hang on for for, for a short time come back in and you should be able to see a download link here uh, for studio all right and then since I, I created that you can see my preferences which i can certainly uh, change all the details. That's the email I use. And then this is the login uh, name that we're going to use in case we're trying to log in 
to studio so once you download studio we still have to log into studio and this is the login name uh, that we're going to use and i will show i will show us how to do that uh, here in a little bit uh, next thing that we can see here once we go back to management console is is we can see just bear with me here for a second we can see our subscription information again this is just a test account right so this is just a trial account that anyone can use i have two seats of data preparation i have two seats of uh, data stewardship two seats of management console so i can add a co-worker to my management console or i can add an, another person to management console and they would have access to it because there are two seats there's one seat of pipeline designer there's one seat of studio so if i download studio i can only connect one user uh, to this environment and so this is what all that information here is telling us all right and then we have our roles so we can assign the different roles depending on what we're trying to accomplish to the different users that we have since this is just a trial with maybe one at most two users then you can put in the roles accordingly but here i need to do some data integration so i'm using my data integration role uh, here all right if there are any questions around this i can certainly dive into that then of course you have groups right you want to create groups where you can put users into groups instead of having to assign every user a role you can assign roles to those groups all right so there was just one user which in this case i called it youtube tutorial so there is just one user uh, that i'm using now uh, for configuration uh, this is where we're going to go into more details here in a little bit uh, you can enable hybrid or you can just do a full service cloud again a little bit of an advanced topic for a later discussion uh, management console we can export our logs for studio if we want to use an artifact repository so something like nexus or, or, or jfrog artifactory if you have something like that this is where we enable that all right so this is where we're going to enable that and then of course promotion pipelines uh, different environments dev test station prod uh, uh the engines that we can set up we do it does come with one cloud engine for pipelines but we can certainly add a remote engine and if we don't know what the remote engine is that could be covered in a separate video again just go down into the comment section below and ask any question that you have a, a video can certainly be made about that all right so that's the remote engine and then here we can set up projects and this is where we can set up our projects and then we have a management uh, environment in here to see all the projects that we have and then of course operations i'll be diving into this in more details but this is at least the bare minimum uh, where we can go from zero to actually having an environment uh, a talent environment a full flesh uh, enterprise ready talent environment trial environment for 14 days that we can use to start building uh, our pipelines now in the next couple of videos in future videos i would go in to show how we can take the talent uh, environment that we just created the talent cloud environment which we have here how we can connect that environment into studio or uh, that way as soon as i'm building my workflows into studio i can publish them directly to talent cloud so that will be in a future video to show how we can take that environment and be able to uh, connect that to a studio environment once you download studio of course that way as you're doing your development you can publish it to talent cloud and be able to schedule those jobs uh, within talent cloud i'm also going to go in and talk about how to create the projects uh connect them to a git repository and um and then after that we're also going to see how to uh, do a uh, ci cd devops taking those jobs and running them through a ci cd pipeline deploying them either to talent cloud or deploying them to say if you wanted to run it with a container you wanted to publish your jobs to uh, say container registry uh, ac arrow or, or or some other container registry that you might have and then orchestrate them with something like kubernetes or aks uh, i'm gonna go all through all through that within uh, in the next couple of videos so just look around the channel you might find the video already if you don't find it just drop again a comment below and uh, uh, will point you to the right uh, resources or or maybe answer the question as much as possible all right guys so there you have it this brings us to the end of this presentation a quick walkthrough on how to or getting started with talent cloud trial account so anyone uh, with access to an email uh, can you know simply connect and get started with the talent cloud trial account to do uh, data integration and, and even self-service so talking about data preparation uh, data stewardship and then pipeline designer which is the next generation uh, data integration pipeline for for talent i hope this was helpful i hope this was helpful 
Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave in the comment section below. Uh, through here, I'll see you in the next video.